Hi grade nines. Okay, so today what we're going to be doing is congruency, okay? And everything, all the different rules and how it's going to be questioned and how you need to apply it. Everything that you need to know about congruency in this video. Okay, the easiest way to understand because we're going to be doing similarity and we're going to be doing congruency. So the easiest way to understand this is think of similarity as siblings, okay? So you and your siblings are not exactly the same, but you share some similar features. Maybe your eyes are the same, your nose is the same. There's similar features, okay? And one is big, one is small, okay? That's what it would be with siblings. Whereas with congruency, think of identical twins where everything about them is identical, okay? they the same size, they have the same eye color, same eye shape, same nose, everything is identical. So that's congruency, all right? Now with congruency, we have three, uh, sorry, four different ways that we can prove that two triangles are congruent. We do talk about different shapes being congruent, okay? But in grade 9, we place in our main focus on proving triangles to be congruent. Okay, I'm going to list the four of them that you need to know. And it is side, 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 okay? And we abbreviate this as SSS, okay? And that's the rule that we're going to, or the reason that we use also, okay? Then the second one we use is side, angle side right and this one here is abbreviated as SAS um, the angle as you can see is in between the two sides so it has to be an included angle for this to work the third one is side angle angle so S A A and the last one is right angle, sorry, right angle, hypotenuse, and a side. And it's abbreviated as RHS. Now, in order for us to uh, prove congruency, sometimes they give it to us straightforward, okay? And other times we expect it to use our knowledge of geometry. That being angles in a triangle, vertically opposite angles, angles on a straight line, any of those kind of properties that you already know from grade 8 and even what we revised this year, right? Any of those kind of properties, you are expected to know them to prove this congruency, okay? I'm going to start with the first one, which happens to be side, side, side. How would they give it to us? They could give, and I'm, I'm going to start really simple, and then we'll do a few more complicated questions. I could give it to you like this. So let's name this A, B, C, D, E, F. They could give you something like this, okay? And they ask you to prove that this triangle is congruent to this triangle over here. So how do we do this? You start by saying in triangle ABC and triangle DEF. So you're listing down which triangles you're working with. Then if you go back to the diagram, it doesn't matter on which side you start, it's up to you. I'm just starting with AB. So you're going to list down something in this triangle and try and match it up to something in this triangle. So I'm going to list down that AB is equal to, and I'm going to look for something here in this triangle that's equal to it, and it's DF. Now remember, everything in geometry needs a reason. So how did we get this information? Because I, it was given to us, we're going to list it down as given. Okay, how do I know it was given? This symbol over here means that these two are the same. This symbol means these two are the same. And this would mean those two are the same. All right, I'm continuing. For myself, what I prefer to do is I just put a small little S next year so that I know that I'm talking about a side. Okay, and it's going to make it easier for me at the bottom to write down my reason. Now, why am I doing this? Because remember, right now I'm teaching you each one of them separately. Okay, but when we have the questions in the paper, you are allowed to pick whichever one of these rules you think is best fitting. 
um, like for example, when we walk in with parallel lines, you know that this co interior corresponding and alternate angles, but you have to see which one fits best. Sometimes you have to use co interior, other times you have to use alternate, other times you have to use corresponding. It just depends on the information that is given. And in the same way, it depends here on the information that is given. And that's how you get to pick whether you're using this, con this property, this one, this one, this one, it doesn't. Okay. That's exactly what you're doing. All right, let's continue. I'm going to list another side. So I'm going to go with AC equal to, and then I'm looking for it. This side, it's EF. And again, how did I get this information? It was given to me, and I'm listing for myself smaller letter S. So I know where I got the information or what I'm using, right? And then lastly, BC equals to D. E. And again, this was given to me, small letter S. Now to conclude, how would you conclude? You would say, therefore, triangle ABC is congruent. This is the symbol for congruency to triangle DEF. Right? And then you give a reason for this side, side, side. Because all sides are corresponding and not corresponding as in corresponding parallel lines, corresponding as in they are equal to each other and those sides correspond with each other. Okay, and that's how you do the first or how you prove using the first one that I mentioned over there. Okay, sometimes they give it to you with symbols like this. Other times they actually give you lengths. Other times you might have to use your um, properties of quads to see that the two parts of the triangle opposite sides are equal, things like that, okay? So please just be aware and make sure you know all of your properties in geometry so that this section here becomes slightly easier for you to understand. I'm going to make separate videos for each one of the congruency, um, what's this, properties so that it makes it easier for you to navigate in between them, okay? And then I'll make a separate video on the most difficult one so that you know, um, by difficult one, I mean difficult questions or exam type of questions, so you know how to approach them as well.